I was delighted to get a call at around 3.30 this morning with the news that uh, Tom Sudoff is receiving the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. Uh, my wife and I had uh, taken Lou and Tom out for dinner after it uh, was learned that Tom would be receiving the Lasker Prize and it's, it's a really significant accomplishment that he's receiving the Nobel Prize uh, after such a short interval uh, from the Lasker Prize. It really reflects the great work that Tom has done throughout his career, work that has given us such a greater understanding of how nerve cells communicate with one another and how vesicles bind to membranes and release in a very controlled fashion their transmitters. Of course, that work and that topic really underlies communication in the nervous system uh, which is fundamental to how we learn and how the brain works uh, at, at a very fundamental level. Tom is a fantastic colleague. Uh, he's a wonderful scientist and we're all very proud of him. It is also significant that the two people sharing this year's Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine with Tom have strong Stanford connections. Randy Sheckman was a graduate student, a PhD student, uh, with the late Arthur Kornberg, himself a Nobel laureate, and Jim Rothman was a former professor in the Department of Biochemistry here at Stanford. In so many ways, this prize symbolizes the excellence and the preeminence that we have here at Stanford. We're, of course, very well known for our fundamental research, but we have increasing focus in a very complementary way in translational research and clinical trials. And of course, we try to bring this together every day in our focus on the patient and in our focus on a transformative experience and patient-centered experience to the care we provide here at Stanford.